Hello and welcome to another video from sunny Girona. So it's been a while since I did a video. I think the last one uh, I did was in the run up to Switzerland. I did put a short up of Switzerland, which to be honest is just something my iPhone made for me and I thought it looked pretty cool. Yeah, I didn't do any filming in Switzerland because I was with a group. Um, kind of fell out of love with the whole making YouTube videos thing. But I thought since I'm coming to Girona on my own, it's kind of my first solo trip for quite a while now. Um, I thought I'd just make some videos. And I didn't intend to start filming here, but these lanes are so nice and quiet. Couldn't resist getting some shots. Absolutely stunning. Really warm as well. So yeah, I landed in Girona this morning. Um, everything went really well, actually. I was planning to get into Girona about one, figuring for airport delays and slow transfers and stuff. But I was actually in Girona before 11. Um, so the only thing I could do because my apartment wasn't ready was go to La Fabrica for a coffee and um, I also went to the spa and uh, did a bit of shopping because it was open till 2 on a Sunday um, then I built the bike and as always when I arrive in a foreign country I do a little loop usually no more than about 20 miles just to uh, check the bike's running okay it's not too far away then that should something happen I can still get back quite easily it has a bit of climbing in it so yeah um girona is actually the first place i ever cycled abroad back in 2019 i had to stop recording then as you can probably tell by the way i was speaking it got a little bit climby but yeah so uh first came here in 2019 with a friend really enjoyed it um but it was early june and the weather here here can be a bit uh unpredictable compared to mallorca i think or say Calpe because of um, well it's just further north so there's more chance of rain I think even in this next week I'm here there is a chance of thunderstorms on a day or two um, so I always said when I come back to Girona I want to do it in summer just to try and guarantee the weather although at the moment it's absolutely scorching it's about 34 I think today um, and we're in the middle of the day heat but as I said it's only a short ride um, so yeah when the opportunity uh, came up to have a week off work without using too much holiday um, at the end of August, which is not when I'd normally go away because I don't like going away when uh, schools are off because it's just busy and more expensive um, but yeah, the opportunity came up so I thought, yeah, take it so yeah, I'm just on a, a nice ride um, I'll link it down below, it's actually from a website called Ar Girona, um, which is a website I used for a few of my rides last time I came uh, I'll use their Rocca Corba ride as well um, so it's a really good website, it's got loads of information about Girona on it um, the only downside is because the ride came from Strava, it doesn't have turn by turn on the uh, Wahoo like it would if it was ride with GPS. So I keep going, keep going wrong. <laughs> and incredibly, I, re I remember all these wrong, wrong turns I'm making are exactly the same ones that I did uh, three years ago. So the reason I stopped here uh, rather than filming while cycling is just to uh, show you some of the views. So yeah, you can see up there, I believe that is Rockacorba because that's where the masts are. So that's the ride that I'll do tomorrow, I think. It's like an iconic ride, you've got to do it while you're here. Um, I'm also going to do the is it Els Angels ride on a day, which is one I've done before. Um, but they're the only duplicates I'm going to do. I'm going to do a ride to the coast, but a bit further south than I did last time. Um, and I'm also going to do the Hilari Loop, is it? Which is a bit climby as well. So yeah, lots planned for this week. Looking forward to it. Uh, I've got an apartment back, back in uh, Girona or Old Town really nice apartment did mess up a bit it is up some really really awkward stairs but it's fine once the bike box is up there it's easy to get the bike up and down because the bike's not heavy but yeah it's going to be interesting getting the bike box down again i'm going to get going now um i might do some more filming along the way if not i'll be back in the apartment the plan this week is to make a few videos of different rides um, i'll put the link for this ride down in the description in case you want to do it yourself um and yeah maybe this week we'll talk about other stuff as well some bike things have been happening I said I wasn't, I said I probably wouldn't do much filming but I had to just uh, get the camera out because we're now on a fairly main road and it's just, it's empty, it's so nice, just look at the views, it's just absolutely incredible, I love riding places like this, I was thinking in the UK if you had a day that's as nice as this, the roads are absolutely packed but whenever you're in Spain I think they just get so many of these days and the population density is less that uh, the road's just nice and quiet. 
It's so nice. And the roads are good as well. I had forgotten how nice it is here. Really looking forward to this week. It's a better view of Rock Corba here. Just going over the motorway, and as I get to this peak, I'll swing the camera around, and uh, you can see the cathedral. And what I think is a TV mast. I need to work out if you can go up that because I like going up TV masts. So there's the motorway. Girona. There's the TV mast. Or some sort of mast. There's the cathedral you can just see in the background. Okay, so it's the evening now. Um, and yeah, I got back from that ride. And I was pretty tired because I've been up since 2am so I stuck the F1 on my laptop um, to watch that because it was on live uh, and I got back just after the start and within a few laps I was I was asleep on the sofa so uh, yeah kind of just woke up now and, and catching up I think it's about 7 7 p.m um, just having a coffee so yeah this is the apartment it's really nice got like this little lounge area and then you walk through it's like Little small bathroom, kitchen area with all my junk there because I've been setting up a uh, coffee machine that I've just used. And yeah, got to be going on to uh, stick some on for this evening. Can't bother going out today. And then bedroom. So yeah, it's not bad. Uh, and it's right in the centre of Girona Old Town. Um, before I show the view, I'll show you what that means for getting the bike up the stairs. So the downside of being at the old, in the old town is that a lot of the buildings don't have elevators um, or lifts. Uh, last time I stayed I was lucky and got one, uh, this time I don't. So I have to uh, kind of cool these narrow stairs. I wish there were uh, two sets. The first set is longer but not as narrow. Um, so yeah, it's a bit annoying but I decided just to leave the bike there because no one else comes up this last set apart from me. But yeah, it's fine now it's, uh, it's set up. It was just a pain bringing the box up on the first uh, the first journey up. But the advantage of being in the old town is I've got a decent view, decent-ish. So we've got a little balcony here. And if you look outside. Got a little view there of, uh, of the old town. Which is pretty nice. Um, obviously the other option is to have um, an apartment on one of the buildings on the other side which then would have a view over the uh, river, it's pretty dry, um, and that was an option but I can't remember why I didn't go for that apartment. I think it was about the same price, uh, I think it might have been smaller or I can't remember, maybe it was even worse for access, um, although I don't know how it could be. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I think it's a really cool view. And when you've got the doors closed, it is really quiet still. Uh, and the lady who has this apartment, um, I met her and she's really super friendly. I wasn't supposed to check in until four. Um, I was actually, I was able to drop my bike off at about quarter past 11. Um, and I was in the apartment at about quarter past 12, so I could build my bike up, um, which is really good, really useful that I could come in early. Um, she did say she didn't know she'd be able to do it because someone has just left this morning, but she did. Um, and yeah, she was really good about it. So yeah, I think that's it for this first video. Um, I'll edit this and upload it at some time, don't know when, I wanna do it fairly soon. Um, it's something to do while I'm here as well. Um, tomorrow I'm thinking Rocker Corba, probably early start, try and do it while it's cool. Uh, the climbs and the first part of the ride and then I've got like a flat loop afterwards, it's about 100k just over the ride. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and get the ride done soon as, go to Bagnoles, to the cafe, have something to eat, do the loop uh, and then get back. Okay, well thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.